Welcome back, Hobbit Collectors of Diecast, and Diecast, to another episode of Curb's Garage. Literally in a, well, storage, not a garage, but uh, I'm going to something a little different today. While I'm still moving and getting this place organized, I figured I'd um, talk about vintage skateboards. A little different than Diecast. Being from Southern California, I think most guys my age that collect things and we collect vintage skateboards, surfboards, Hot Wheels, yo-yos, things from our childhood. So for those who don't know, skateboards originally um, started out as a alternative to when the waves were crummy and you got a two by four piece of wood and uh, not a two by four but some kind of uh, nice piece of wood and uh, you cut your sister's skates in half and bolted them on or nailed them on and boom, you're on your way. Problem was, back then, the skates were had metal wheels and the trucks didn't have any turning. So you could just go straight. So if you wanted to turn, it would tilt over and you'd eat it and... Um, yeah, and then you probably quit, or your parents took your skateboard away from you. Anyhow, this one here is from the 1950s. It's got a Super Surfer um, sticker on there, but I don't believe Super Surfer was making these uh, in them. I've tried to do some research on it, but I think they were more in the clay wheel era days, but uh, there's that. Let's found that at a swap meet fine up next also from the 50s this is the uh, Sokol brand and uh, Sokol manufacturing company in Norfolk Nebraska even Nebraska was uh, in and the skate craze. Again, same trucks, metal wheels, nice solid piece of oak. This is uh, engraved. Looks like with the also with a burner. But they came up with that right there. It's got some interesting rails. Looks like it was routed around. Now here's a Super Surfer, solid oak um, piece of wood. This is about the time I started. And um, funny thing about the surf, Super Surfer is uh, in, in that logo, I'm familiar with Hobie, which we'll show you in a little bit, um, teamed up with them. And they started making the Super Surfer, Hobie Super Surfer model. Um, this one has, looks like the trucks are sure grip. Can't really read it. It's got the bushings though, so you were able to turn back then. And also back then, they used wood screws. They didn't go all the way through to the deck. They just had these wood screws that would go in. You know, and after a while, the vibration, they would unscrew and come off. They also have loose ball bearings in there. You took it apart, the ball bearings would fall out all over the place. You have to put them in one by one, if you could find them all. And I got that, like in mint condition, at a, uh, again, in a swap meet. Same with this. Actually, I bought all three of those, I think, at one time. The red one in... Um, these two here. Here's another example of the Super Surfer. This one's got a square tail. Like the other one had a what they call a pintail, a round pintail. Clay wheels. Another thing with the clay wheels too is you'd hit a rock, instantly skid and stop and fall down. So they weren't the the best. Have a 
This looks like uh, somebody maybe made a custom deck, homemade. It's cracked in half. Um, can't tell what the wood is. It might be oak. Truck's jacked up, missing the bottom rubber bushing. It has the Super Surfer wheels. And then here is a, another homemade deck. And this one has um, the screws going through. And they're not actually screws, they're some kind of um, like a rivet or something on there. And this has uh, the old, I believe, Chicago trucks. Which are pretty popular. Still got the clay super surfer wheels. Next up, here's I mentioned Hobie. Here's a Hobie from the 70s. This is a fiberglass board. That's a just a flat fiberglass. Had some kind of surfboard resin design on the bottom or the top. Blue on the bottom. This does have the screws and nuts all the way through. These look like uh, look like sure grip trucks, and it's got uh, kind of one of the first uh, urethane wheels. These are roller sports urethane wheels. There's an argument that maybe Cadillac came out with the first ones. Um, but from my memory, I think these were the first urethane wheels which changed everything because you could roll over stuff and you wouldn't hit and skid like you did with the clay and metal wheels. These are two different types of wheels. You see it looks like a little bit wider ones on the back, a little bit more narrower ones in the front. And this one here. That was a Surflex model from Hobie. And then we have this here, which I, I'm not sure what brand it is, but it's, uh, they started making plastic decks. It's got the trucks through it. So it has some flex to it. And again, it has the Royal, Spa Royal Sports Earthing wheels and the loose bearings. Kind of red transparent. It's got the Chicago trucks and it has like a little like um, checker flags here and there might have maybe there was a sticker that went there whatever the brand was I want to say GT was making these um, I'm not sure there's a lot of companies making them like um, Super Surfer again this is uh, Got a little bit more modern molded kicktail to it for doing kick turns, so made it easier to do wheelies and kick turns. Um, this has some um, super surfer wheels, and they almost look like clay, but I think they are hard urethane. And they actually have what's interesting is they have super surfer trucks can't see it but right there there's a stamp on it which are pretty rare to find and then the next I've got another red the slight kick to it plastic molded skateboard there's the caution sticker <laughs> um, these are interesting very vintage trucks not sure what brand they are, but uh, you got the loose ball bearing wheels with the urethane wheels. No name on them, I can see. So this was probably just some kind of generic skateboard you bought at your local Kmart or Walmart. Or something like, no, you're not Walmart. I guess Walmart wasn't around then. And then we got this from the 70s. It's a... 
uh, free former model. There's a couple companies that made this. It was the first one was Bonsai, and they're made out of aluminum. It's got a kicktail on it, uh, and these were very dangerous because the pointy nose, right? That that if you fell off of it and the skateboard came at you, it would jab you in the ankle and put a nice gash in your ankle. Looks like it has uh, some Sims um, comp knockoff wheels. And um, some interesting trucks. Can't read it. But um, yeah, it's got some. I'm sitting around collecting crap. Anyhow, there's the Freeformer. I actually knew a guy that used to ride for them, Fred Flavel. Used to skate down at the Huntington Beach Pier. Next, oh, causing a riot. Um, this board was uh, more modern 80s style pig, like 10 inch wide. You see the Alva logo on there. Um, he built this for uh, my daughter when she was nine years old. Independent trucks, and I believe these were his Alva wheels that he had. And then this is one that he built for me. And I'm speaking to Tony Alva. He did sign it at one point down here or somewhere, but it, it rubbed off. I skated the heck out of this thing. And this is like a, a long board, kind of like a 36 inch length, longer than a typical um, board. At that time, I, was, I liked them better um, as I got older. Here's uh, yours truly um, on a longboard. Uh, boo, that was a, a vision skateboard on a half pipe, an eight foot half pipe in the front side air. You could tell by the bracelets and the and everything. It was like in the 80s. And I have, I got this recently, which is another long board and has the Dogtown artwork on it. Super excited about that. Alligator wheels. So this is what I would ride today if I was going to go skate some kind of a ditch or something. Um, somebody gave me that. I'm super stoked on that because my Alva broke or cracked. And then uh, if you can see I have two long boards. This one here. And this one here, and they're both they're just cruising like a longboard on, on a surfboard on the um, on the flats, on the sidewalk. So that's it. I just thought before I put these away, I'd share my uh, skateboard collection with you. I know you guys are more into die cast, but I think some of you guys are into vintage surfboards and skateboards. So I just wanted to share that with you while I was up. Uh,